Hi everyone and welcome to Business Education TV by Dr. D. And today we're going to talk about how to create presentation, interpretation, and analysis of data. So I have here an example of a result which is focusing on the socioeconomic profile of the millennials that patronize online grocery service as to gender. So in this research, they focus on the online grocery services and as you can see on the table, it focuses on the gender which is male and female. We have here the frequency which is 53 and the frequency for female is 84 and the total is 137. And uh, for you to be able to create uh, analysis in this uh, table, the first thing that you should have is the first paragraph. Okay, so as you can see, the first par paragraph is focusing on the table per se. Okay, so table 2 illustrates that the majority of the respondents for rank 1 is female with frequency of 84 and percentage of 61%, while the rank 2 is male with a frequency of 53 and percentage of 39%. So again, the first par paragraph should focus on the table. Let's proceed now on the second paragraph uh, related in analyzing and interpreting this table. As you can see on the example, based on the above findings, it connotes that female respondents are, normal, are normally rather responsible for the purchases of grocery items, which have made them to use online grocery services. This elucidates that females are more responsible in managing pur purchases of products at home than male. It can be deduced that the reason behind this is because of the capability of female to handle finance that includes budgeting of money. So again, this is going to be the second paragraph related to this table. And the third paragraph is basically this one. Okay, so normally we are trying to get a re related literature or study related to the findings. So for example, this finding is in contrast uh, in the study with the study rather of Morimer et al. 2011, which states that male are engaging in grocery shopping than female in Australia. The norms and culture in Australia is different in the Philippines. This could be the reason for the differences of the result of the aforementioned study. So again, that is this is the third paragraph of doing the presentation analysis and interpretation of the Let's have another example of a table. This is another table which is, uh, it focuses on uh, statement questions as you can see. And uh, as you can see, these are the perceptions of millennials on electric service quality of online grocery as to fulfillment. So the variable here is fulfillment. So we have here the frequency, we have the total, we have the mean, we have the verbal interpretation, and we have the rank. And of course, uh, below is the weighted. So let's have here an example. So again, that the first paragraph should focus on the table per se. So for instance, table 9 presents the perception of the millennials on the electric service quality of online grocery in terms of fulfillment where it has resulted to a weighted mean of 3.22 agree. Furthermore, it indicates that the rank 1 among the question is, I am satisfied with the availability of products with a mean of 3.23 agree, while rank 2 among the questions include I receive my orders in perfect condition, the orders are always accurate, and you get what you order from this website with a mean of 3.22 agree. And lastly, rank 3 is the question, the product was delivered by the time promised by the store with the mean of 3.20 agree. So let's proceed now on the paragraph. So an, an example of which is the results reflect that customers of online grocery services 
are satisfied with the availability of products when using online app or website. This means that out of out of stock grocery items are less frequently experienced by customers. Moreover, it was also observed that accuracy of orders and the quality of delivered items are properly implemented by the online grocery services. They ensured that what the customers ordered were delivered in good condition. But on the other hand, it also reveals that consistency on delivery time is not properly achieved by the online grocery services. This means that the customer are experiencing late deliveries on their item. So again, this is an example of the paragraph rule in the presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. Another, uh, in the last paragraph, should focus on uh, associating it with uh, related literature and studies. And this is an example. This supports the study made by Blood 2016 that indicates that customers should be guaranteed to experience consistency in their services to have customer fulfillment. This includes order correctness, delivery condition, and delivery time. So that is the third paragraph in analyzing uh, and interpretation of data. Hope you have learned today and thank you so much for watching.